Hello guys and welcome back to Lead Logics. This is the count nice pairs in an array. It is a lead code medium and the number for this is 1814. So in this question, you are given given with an array nums that consists of non-negative integers, and uh, there is a function river rev rev of x takes x as the uh, parameter, and uh, it, what it does is that it reverses the non-negative integer x. For example, rev of 1 to 3 is actually 3 to 1, and rev of 1 to 0 is 0 to 1, which actually becomes 21. So, uh, we have to find the number of pairs that satisfy the given conditions. And the given conditions are that, uh, suppose we have a pair of indices i and j. So, uh, i should be greater than equal to 0 and j should be greater than i. And uh, j should obey also be less than nums.length. So, i and j should be in between 0 and uh, nums dot length and j should be greater greater than i and the other condition is given as nums of i plus reverse of nums of j equal to nums of j plus reverse of nums of i so if you see this condition uh, there is a hint of solution given in this equation so what we can do just take the rev of nums of i from this side to this side and take this revs of nums of j from this side to this side here so what the equation becomes nums of i minus reverse of nums of i equal to nums of j minus reverse of nums of j yes this becomes the uh, equation so that is what we are going to do. For each pair i, j, we need to check if nums of i and uh, reverse of nums of j equal to nums of j plus reverse of nums of i. This was what we have to check. So uh, we recognize that this equality is equivalent to nums of i minus reverse of nums of i equal equal to nums of j minus reverse of nums of j. This uh, it is equivalent to this equation. So instead of dealing with the reverse of uh, two different indices i and j, we can focus on the difference between a number and its itself uh, reverse version. So that is what we are going to do. Now let's take an example. Suppose we take this example. Example 1. So the initial array is given as uh, at 0 index we have 42, 1 we have 11. 2 we have 1 and 3 we have 97 so we need to modify the array and how we'll modify the array take the element take the reverse and take their difference so this was the element 42 we take it reverse uh, 24 subtract it becomes 18 then we take the element it's reversed and subtract it becomes 0 again for 1 also it becomes 0 and for 97 it again becomes 18 now what we will do just simply sort this this part 18 0 0 18 okay we, we have sorted this 0 0 18 18 this is a new modified sorted array and just simply count the number of distinct elements in this modified array so in this number of distinct uh, elements and its count we have calculated so 0 occurs 2 times 18 occurs 2 times so to, for you uh, then we have to calculate the number of pairs so for 0 we have one pair and for 18 we have one pair so we'll return the solution as 1 plus 1 this becomes 2 and the final answer is returned to now this is because we have a zero pair uh, zero difference two element and 18 difference two element so if we jumble them uh, uh, among themselves only then also we are going to get the similar uh, difference because uh, if we jumble two 
elements one was having 0 and one was having 18 so both the sides the difference will be uh, disturbed by the same number and uh, this is what the logic was behind uh, this solution approach so let's start it with let's start with the coding section but before that please do uh, like the video share it with your friends and subscribe to the channel if you are new to the channel so in the coding section first of all uh, we were given that we need to use a mod so i will define a mod final int mod equal to So this is the mod and then we will define the length and uh, then we need to modify the modify the array mod d5 that was in one of the memes as you remember so we need to modify the array nums of i equal to nums of i minus reverse of nums of i so we need to define the reverse function also we'll define it and after this we need to sort the nums And then we need to count the pairs so let's take result so we have a count equal to one and we can use the formula n into n minus 1 by 2 to calculate the number of pairs for each unique difference but before that we need to check something now while i should be less than len minus 1 we are taking len minus 1 because if if i will be len minus 2 then j have to take len minus 2 len minus 1 that's why we are taking i less than len minus 1 and then and and nums of i equal equal to nums of i plus 1 count plus plus and i plus plus and what we do reverse equal to uh, sorry result equal to result mod and we need to add this also n into n plus 1 by 2 that is count into count minus 1 by 2 and at the last we also we will again have a mod and this is the solution now we have to return int so this is the main uh, count nice pair functions now we need to define the reverse function as well so let's take int reverse int nums actually num oh okay and uh, then we will take reverse into 0 and while num is greater than 0 extract one element at a time from num num
let's uh, what is the error here let's see so okay we have a return missing statement because we have haven't returned the reverse so sample test cases are passed let's try to submit it okay you can see it beats 100 percent in time and 80 percent in memory so it means it is a good solution the time complexity for this is n log n and that too is also because of this arrays dot sort which we have used otherwise it would have been uh, uh, o of n but because of this it is n log n and the space complexity is uh, o of 1 because we are not using any extra space but if you count this nums of i nums array which we are given as a space then we can say that it is o of n because we are using the given input array but if you use a different array then uh, you may say that you are given you are using a space of o of n otherwise it is o of one solution so this was my solution and uh, this was my notes for this i hope you understood the logic if you have any suggestion please do write in the comment sections uh, uh, your feedback is very valuable thank you for watching the video have a nice day